What is up guys, it's Jacko and um, I'm changing my intro to this. G'day. So, I'm in LA right now. It's my second day here. I didn't vlog yesterday because it was the, uh, I, the most panic. Oh, oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start, right? I'll just start from the beginning. Yesterday I had the day from hell. I landed in LA at about 7.30 a.m. Um, caught an Uber to my hotel in West Hollywood. Couldn't check into the hotel for like two hours. So I left my bags here. Then I went to um, the Beverly Center just to shop for something to do. So like it was like a two kilometer walk, so it took me a while. Walked there, bought some shoes and some hats, some essentials. And then I walked back and I walked pretty quick and I was wearing these jeans that like I kept having to pull up and they were annoying. So I was just like, oh, trying to get back. Could not wait. Like after the 14 hour flight, couldn't wait to just have a shower and just, I was so tired. I slept like two hours on the plane. I just wanted to have a snooze on the bed. That's all I wanted to do. Got back at about 11, go to pay, get my wallet out to check in and pay for the hotel. My wallet is not in my pants. The guy looked at me, I looked at him and went, oh f And then I literally, then I literally just sprinted the whole way back to the, ho to the shopping center. Like it was like 1.8 Ks, I full sprinted. I was in jeans, I had shopping bags. Um, I was in a hoodie and I was sprinting the whole way back looking for my wallet on the ground, knowing someone's picked it up. Like there was heaps of people, someone would have picked it up. There was about 200 bucks cash in there. All my IDs, my I, like my credit cards, there was three credit cards, everything. And I was just like, um, I was running going, no. Like I was screaming, running with like tears in my eyes going, no. It was the first day, like you can imagine me, I'm just, what? I was like, why me? Mm. I gave up, I started walking back, just going, fuck, went straight to Starbucks, because we've got no Wi-Fi on my phone, obviously, so I called dad, and it was like 3 a.m. In, in Australia, so he started canceling my credit cards. I got back into the hotel. I couldn't pay for my room, so they couldn't let me in my room, so my, it was just so and bad. So then dad had to FaceTime the guy, the guy at the front and pay for my room. So I paid for my room again, got checked in. What am I gonna do? Like, everything's in there. Luckily my passport was in my bag, but everything else. You know when you just wanna cry that you're a man so you can't? That's what I was like, but I had tears in my eyes and I was like, I just wanna vomit, be sick, I wanna go home. Like, it was the first day I got here. Had 20 more days and imagine that without a wallet. Anyway, I just sit down. What are the chances someone's picked it up? Anyway, so I don't know. I go on my phone, I go on Twitter, just to, ha like I had a feeling like, I'm like, please, surely. But like, literally around this area, I wouldn't even think anyone has Twitter, to be honest. I go on Twitter, the first tweet from a dude called Israel Hernandez. Hi Jackson, I found a wallet with a few documents. I don't know if are you. And I just wrote, no, no chance. And then I inboxed him, I said, Israel, I just lost my wallet, can I FaceTime you? I lost my wallet, if you have it, I'll love you forever. <laughs> He goes, I don't, he wrote back, I don't have a phone. And I'm just like, okay. I sent him about 10 messages to his one. And he said, I'm working, give me two minutes. I started getting a bit sus. I'm like, okay. I'm like, sorry, I'm freaking out. Where can I meet you? And he goes, I'm driver. This was like over three hours. So he was taking ages to reply. And I was just absolutely freaking out. And I looked at his photo and like, Israel, if you're watching this, you are the biggest legend I've ever seen because you've just found a wallet and Googled me and tweeted me. I'm like, there's not many people like you in this world. So thank you. But I clicked on his photo and it did look a bit scary. He's wearing a face mask of like a clown leaning on a car holding something. And I just got a bit creeped out and I started going, oh crap, he's gone, I'm gonna die. But anyway, I was like, I don't care. Dad, dad told me, just meet him in a public place. I'm like, can you meet me at this Starbucks? And then he said, hey, I've got to go to a job in San Marino, which was about an hour away from here. I can wait until after work. And I said, I'll give you money. He's like, there's no money in it. So, the, so what's happened, I found out, is he's a truck driver and he found, the, he found the wallet in Santa Monica, which is, I don't know, two or three suburbs away from here. So someone has picked my wallet up off the ground, taken the cash, looked at the rest, driven somewhere and thrown it out the window. It's landed on the, on the side of the road. The truck driver's minding his own business, driving, sees a wallet on the ground, stops his truck, gets out, Picks up the wallet, looks at my ID and search me on Google. First thing that comes up is my Twitter, follows me and he tweets me saying I've got my wallet. <laughs> what are the chances? Like, absolute miracle. And I was just like, I felt so much better about my life just then. I just needed, I felt sick, I needed to go get it. I'm like, no, stuff this, I need to get it. So I booked an Uber to go meet him at this random address that I don't know. It could have been a serial killer's house, could have been, like, I don't know. Like, 
I, I didn't know this guy. His photo was scary, but I was like, I need my wallet. I don't care if I die. <laughs> So I get in the Uber, I travel an hour in the Uber, and the Uber guy was a legend. He said he'd wait for me and can't take me back. Ended up being a pretty fun road trip with him. Get there, he gives me my wallet, I give him a hug, I tell the story to the people he's working with, and he's just like, no worries. And I'm like, I love you. I said, I love you, I gave him the biggest hug, I'm like, you've saved my trip. And I caught an Uber back, and yeah, what a legend. Like, that's my story, and it just, people like that, he could have just got my wallet and just not cared about it, thrown it in the bin, whatever. But no, he tried to give it back to me. And it was the first day I got here, so I was stressed out. I didn't eat all day, because I didn't have my wallet. I couldn't pay for anything, obviously, but oh, I had nothing. So like, this just restores my faith in humanity just a little bit. Of all the crazy things people are doing these days, and someone will still do that. There's not many people you'll find that will do that, so. Shout out to you, Israel. You are the man, the myth, the legend. What a start to my trip, I guess. You know, guys, I just, ne I just needed to tell you that story. It just literally just happened to me, and I'm still recovering from it. So, I must say, take extra good care of your wallet and stuff when traveling, or always. Anyway, peace out, A-Town. Mm -mm.